Welcome to Stamping Tips, Tricks and Techniques for Beginners. Sometimes when you're learning a new skill, it can be a little bit overwhelming and daunting. So I've taken all my favorite tips and tricks, as well as my favorite techniques that are very beginner friendly, and put them all in one class. I'll walk you through step by step in what I've learned in the past 30 years or so of my stamping journey. The first thing we are going to start covering is the basics. I'll go through the different types of stamps and the pros and cons of each, as well as my favorite stamping inks to use on a daily basis. I'll show you some tools that you're going to need, as well as some helpful tools that I'll be using for part of this course. And while some of these tools aren't required, they're definitely going to make your life a lot easier, especially when it comes to placing things precisely on the fronts of your cards. We'll go over basic coloring techniques for beginners as well as my favorite way of coloring, which definitely has a little bit of a learning curve to it, but it is beginner friendly if you're wanting to go that route. We'll cover tips that I've learned over the years with heat embossing and what to do and what not to do. I'm gonna go over water coloring as well as it's one of my favorite ways of relaxing and filling in images. And if that's not your cup of tea, I'll show you how to fake it. I'll show you how to get different gradations of color with the same stamp, as well as how to do watermark images. And then we'll level up those watermark images by adding some mica powders to them. We'll cover a simple way to group different stamps together to make it look like one big stamp, as well as to add pattern to your silhouette stamps. Lastly, I'll show you how to use layering stamps, which are some of my favorites. Now let's get started. 